disturbance to an ecosystem can be natural, like this mudslide on the island of Olasega next to Ofu, brought down that part of the hillside and this rock about six weeks ago. The mud didn't stop here between these houses, it kept going and it connects this hillside with the reefs. So let's go take a look at what happened. Pretty muddy and pretty wet. There's cracked mud in the sun. Then we get to a cliff, which is that same dirt that was up there on the house, full of soil and old pieces of coral. And then it tumbles down into the reef right here. It's pushed away some of the coconut palms, it's pushed away the other plants, and it's fallen into the sea right here at the base of this dirt cliff. So you can see buried in here all the coral pieces and the rocks and the pieces of timbers from the houses, leaves, plants. But look, there's plants that are starting to grow even here. Just in a few months, it'll probably be stabilized by those plants. Right now, it's still pretty unstable, though. Every time it rains, water will come sluicing down here, pushing all this mud into the sea. And the bottom here has got a lot more mud and silt than any other place I've seen along this side of the island. I don't know what it looks like out there, but corals can't take a lot of sand and mud and silt on top of them. So it probably does a serious problem on the coral reef growth that's out here. And even a disturbance as dramatic as this one can be healed by the plants growing in from the edges or reseeding themselves inside. And the rate at which the healing can take place depends on the productivity of the system. How fast do the plants grow? How fast can they creep in from the edges? So the diversity of all the plants on that slope will be important for its ability to heal because it's those plants that have the ability to grow in such a steep area. And if we were disturbing this hillside faster than it could regrow, then it would get barer and barer and barer. And eventually it could be just a bare mud hillside up against this village and in one torrential rain it could all sluice down and wipe the whole village out. So the ecosystem right now is protecting this village. That forest is protecting the village and the disturbance rate of that ecosystem is critical to that ecosystem sustaining its protective ability. This is a landslide too. You can barely see it up from the top there and coming down. It's been maybe five, ten years of regrowth and when productivity is high then the ecosystem can grow into these disturbances and, and fill them in very quickly. Most natural ecosystems have a lot of different areas like this, some that, that were just disturbed and, and some like this that are almost healed in and then some that were healed long ago. And that patchwork of different areas, different ages of disturbance is what actually sometimes increases the diversity and the productivity of a natural ecosystem in its normal balanced state. If people increase the disturbance rate, then they can tip the balance on this ecosystem, like any ecosystem, and destroy its sustainability.